Hi everyone, welcome back to your Not So Ordinary Scrapbook channel. Um, it's been about 10 days since I posted a video, but this came in the mail today, so I thought that I would do an unboxing of it. I haven't opened it yet, I just unsealed this, so it would make it a little bit easier, but I haven't opened um, the box yet. I'm not even sure who the girl is um, for the month of July. <laughs> But, um, we'll see here shortly. I just, I, I have not scrapbooked, um, probably since the last video that I made. I know that I haven't scrapbooked since the last video that I made. Um, I was busy with family over the weekend and then my work week got cut short because Monday we had off and then... The rest of the week, I've just been, like, bombarded with work um, every single day. And I am thoroughly wiped out now. <laughs> but my work week is over, and now I can just kind of sit back and relax and enjoy the weekend. But, um, so let me unbox this. Um. So the cool thing about Felicity Jane, um, this video is not sponsored by them, is that when they tell you that they are shipping, like that your kit has been shipped, it is generally here within the next two days. Um, within 24 hours, you have it on your doorstep, which is really nice. You don't have to wait very long. Um, they do give you a sneak peek um, usually about a week beforehand. Um, I try not to look at it because I like to be surprised. Um, but other than that, um, that's just one benefit of subscribing to Felicity Jane. Um, it's just the kit that I, I, it's my go-to kit that I prefer out of any other kit club that I've ever um, belonged to. So it looks like we got some poppers, which I'll have fun popping. I love the aesthetic of it. Um, let's see if we can find the girl. Who is the girl this month? Here she is. Looks like she's behind a camera. That's really cute. That's a really cute card. Um, What's her name? Let's see. Her name is Emma. Emma is her name. So this is the Emma collection. Um, these are the letter stickers. Polka dot, chipboard. Um, I don't know if the color is coming across quite right. Here, let me turn on the light real quick. And we might get a better view of what color it is. Yeah, that's better. Um, yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a teal green. Looks darker on camera than it actually is. There's a little bit of a shadow. I didn't film in my office because my office is a mess and sometime this weekend, it's going to get cleaned out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight. I might just sit in here, watch movies, and, like, work on some scrap, work with some scrap paper. Maybe making some, like, um, mini embellishments or something. I'm not sure. I don't really feel like scrapbooking. I just haven't really been in the mood lately. Um, I did do two layouts. Actually... Yeah, before the weekend, I did do two layouts that I did not film on camera. They were wedding related. Um, one was of my daughter-in-law getting ready for the wedding. And the other one was um, us sitting around um, a few days after the wedding, just in the backyard of their house. Um, but... I think that once I start scrapbooking again, I'm going to start with a new kit. I'm not going to 
I'm just going to use the next kit on deck, which I think is a Christmas one. Because um, I think I've decided that there were like four of those on deck kits. Four, four or five, I can't remember. Um, the one I, I pretty much used up. I used up all of the leftover um, 12 by 12 paper in there, except for maybe one sheet. And then, um, and I used a good number of the embellishments. But the next one, I think I'm going to pick the Christmas themed one just because like Christmas in July. Since we're halfway to Christmas. Um, this is like a peachy color. It's really cute. Washi tape um, with like a darker peach or orange polka dot. Um, these are some chipboard frame or what are these called name plates I guess I would call them chipboard name plates and then they come with some brads so there's a lot of ampersands in this kit there is a ton of vellum ampersands Which I find that I don't use ampersand that often. But, you know, you can you can do a lot with them. Like if you, you know, instead of when you're, you know, you can put them in a sentence. Or in a title. Um, you can use them as a design element, I suppose. I never have just because I, I, um, I don't know. I just don't. So this is the Emma stamp set and they're all ampersands and, and before, after, um, some arrows, pretty versatile. And then, oh goodness. Okay. So these are chipboard words or phrases, word confetti it's called. They're made of chipboard, and these are all the ones that are in here. You can see them. So today, grateful for this. Photos, this made me laugh. Daily routine, won't ever forget this. Memories, life right now, it's a lot extra. Good things, that one time, in the moment, happy, great day, so much fun, the little things. Very cute. And then this is the ephemera pack. The Emma ephemera pack. So she's wearing a really pretty dress. Looks like a maxi dress or maxi sundress. Um, a beautiful mess, everyday life. And it's got a lot of really neat. Ephemera bits, I like that. Very cute. So, as you can see, since I'm on my bed, I'm not taking everything out just because it doesn't seem appropriate to do so just because I don't want to lose any pieces. These are the cards. The Project Lifestyle cards or whatever. Okay, so we've got labels, a star on green, some stars. So some of these could be like 4th of July related, I suppose, if you wanted them to be. Chapter 7 for July, some oranges. Some perpendicular stripes and navy blue. It's not black. It's navy blue. I don't know if you can see that. It's the little things in life that make me happy. It's kind of an orangey, like a tomato-y color. Um, some rainbow stripes. Really pretty gingham. Gingham. 
a larger gingham. And is this, yeah, this is navy blue as well with daisies, very cute. The little details. Those are very cute cards. I really like those a lot. And then our paper. So this is our color palette. We've got blueberry, lime, apple, lemon, petal, melon, and poppy. So it tells us the colors. So apparently the navy blue is the blueberry. I don't know if I can open this. I'm holding the camera instead of having it on a tripod. So, it's pretty quiet here today. It's just me and Ethan, so. Um, and I need to get groceries, something fierce. I was like, I don't even know what we're having for dinner. All I know is I thought a hamburger because we had that. Or ground beef. I have no idea what I'm going to make with that. Because I need to go to the grocery store so bad. <sighs> and I really don't want to get out of the house today. But. Uh, I don't like going to the grocery store without a list. Because if I do. Then I either buy too much. Don't buy the right things. Or. I spend too much. So I'm. So I do have, I do have, um, a Misfits box coming tomorrow that's got our produce in it. So, um, I don't need to get produce. I know that because tomorrow all that will be in that box, but, but other stuff, got to get the other stuff. Okay. So this is basically the patterns that are going to be in here as far as paper wise in the Emma collection. So we'll do the cardstock first, I guess. This is the blueberry cardstock. This is the green. What, what color was that green again? Let me give you the right color. Apple. So apple, blueberry. And then we got petal. And, no, is that not, no that's petal. And poppy. So this is poppy. This is kind of a tomatoey red. Okay. So now we have the pattern paper. This is called Stars and Tags. So we've got that apple paper with white stars. And then we have a whole page of tags, which I am definitely going to cut apart. And then this one is called grid and chevron so this is the tomato or not the tomato the poppy <laughs> poppy color now i'm thinking tomato and this is lemon i guess the color is lemon it does help to have that um color swatch um gingham dotted stripes so this is the blueberry Blueberry gingham, and then we've got a rainbow of colors in, in that color palette. Okay, this one is called Stripes and Citrus. So this is in the lemon color. And then the citrus is on, the background is the petal. And then the oranges are that lemon color. And then we have floral in plaid. So there's florals in the melon and poppy color and lemon. And there's some, looks like the apple and the lime color. And then this is in the petal. And then this is hearts and Swiss dot. This is in the blueberry. And then this is in the petal and melon. 
So the background is petal and the dots are melon. So, and that's it. That's it for July. So, um, yeah, I thank you all for watching. I don't know if I'll film a, a video this weekend. I just honestly have not been in the mood to scrapbook. Um, not for any particular reasons. I just, I don't know. I've just been busy and kind of in a funk and, you know. You know how it's been. I'm better than I was a couple weeks ago. At least I'm not crying or anything. I'm trying to put things into perspective. And just move ahead one step at a time. It's not easy. Life is not easy, but... You know, just got to do the best you can. So, um, y'all take care, and I hope to see you next time here at Your Not So Ordinary Scrapbook Channel. Bye.